Tag Turbo Board Chart here with Frank Crozier and we're doing the Big Board Breakdown. So, Frank, the plan. Do we need this plan or not? What's the plan? I we still know. don't know what the plan is. Did you see it? It was it, it was great because it's they, a plan. no matter what they asked, they asked Paulson, he just said the same thing. Well, we need this or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Well, what's yeah. your name? We need this or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh. We didn't even have to waste our time watching the testimony. We still have no answers. Yeah, and Bernanke was just threatening, like, if you don't do this, we're going to be in a recession. Yeah. Oh, like the economy's doing really well right now. Like, yes. we're not already in a recession? Hello, we're in a recession already. So, you know. That, that made no sense to me. It's true. And it was big news overnight that uh, Warren Buffett's taking a stake in Goldman Sachs. And and people are viewing this like, hey, you know what? This is a good sign. Maybe, you know, once once we do the bailout plan at $700 billion, this is great news. But it also suggests that maybe we don't need it. And I know I'm on the side of probably the 5% that don't believe it. And I'm going to get emails, frank.curzyatthestreet.com. Feel free to send them and disagree. But they are paying for these assets at a price. So Goldman came down to a price where Warren Buffett said, hey, it's a good deal. Uh, we, we've seen this uh, across the board with, with some of the banks. We saw this in Morgan Stanley as well. We're going to see this was housing prices as well. Where, where in New York, if they come down from four, from 400 to 300 to 250, you're going to see buyers in the market. They're not going to be worth zero. So I understand the credit markets are frozen, and uh, but I think you know as long as we stabilize the money market accounts, which we did, I don't know how much is 700 billion is really going to do for the market because right. we've moved beyond this right now. Well, we're assuming that we're getting right. this, or we've moved beyond this. That's what I was going to say. Is the the bond guys that I talked to have said, you know, whether there's a plan or no plan, they've already started treating the, the market as if it doesn't matter. They've already moved on yes. and they've moved into trading as if whether there's a plan or not, things are already happening. So we've almost, in those markets, moved past the plan. Yes. And we're also, after looking at the testimony, it seems like they're predicting financial Armageddon if we don't get it. As far as I know, banks are still lending to, to, to customers who have 20%, 30% down payment, which is the way it was 20 years ago. They're still lending to people that have good credit, which is the way it's supposed to be. And they're trying to keep people in houses who can't afford to be in these houses. There's nothing wrong with renting. Not everybody could afford a house. Yep. I don't. They're going to try to keep these people in homes. What about three years from now? Are they suddenly going to make more money? They'll restructure the loans, but without more money coming in in this economy, weak economy, this bailout may be meaningless. Well, and, and I also thought it was interesting when uh, they talked. Uh, Chris Cox, the SEC, said, "Oh, well, CDSs are unregulated. We got to regulate them now." Well, no one's buying them anymore anyway. So the market has a, a, an uncanny way of correcting its mistakes. He was actually there? I didn't even see him. <laughs> he turned his testimony in 20 minutes uh, before the hearing. Okay. But, um, but, you know, I think you're right. You know, there's always a buyer at the right price. You know, yes. Bear Stearns went out at 10 bucks, so it was a really low price, but you found a buyer at $10. So I think that that's really the key here is that, yeah, we've got all this, this toxic crud out there, but someone's going to buy it at the right price. I, I believe so. And it, I believe the plan is going to go through. We're assuming the marks are anticipating the plan is going to go through, even though there's absolutely no details. What's described as toxic, we don't even know. We don't know even know if it's going to include non-mortgage. Is it going to filter down to the individual? So there's a lot of questions that we still don't have answered. And we're doing this based on fear and based on emotions, not on analysis, which is kind of scary. So I actually agree with the politicians a little bit to some extent. This needs to be questioned question. here. Yes. But uh, you are also in the camp of the Frank don't need the plan, man. No, I don't think, you know, okay. I, there, had, there is enough evidence right now right. that we need this plan. I haven't okay. seen it yet. All right, great. Thanks. Frank Crucio, Deborah Borchardt, Big Board Breakdown.